What is worship? Um, that is a funny word today because our modern culture has connected so many different things to the word worship. You know, for some it's a musical style, for some it's about songs, for some it has to do with different movements of God that are happening in the earth. For some people, worship has to do with a business. Um, for others, it's about liturgy and um, how we acknowledge God in our communities. For me personally, when I think about the word worship, I come back to a response that's from my heart, that's personal, that has to do with um, who God is and what he's done in my life, you know. Uh, Jesus came and made a way for me to connect with God where before there was no way. And he's did it for me and he's done that for all of us. And so I think in light of that, as I begin to give that priority in my life above everything else, above all my other relationships and different stuff that I have going on, above my job, above even what I feel like I'm called to, as I prioritize God, as I prioritize who he is and what he's done in my life, there's a response there. There's a desire to express gratitude, devotion, surrender, sacrifice, appreciation, um, wonder, awe, you know, like all these things are connected to a response based on what God has done for me and who he is in my life. And so worship all of a sudden becomes more than just a moment. Worship begins to bleed into every moment. It begins to come into my 24-7, uh, day and night. Uh, you know, I have an opportunity in every moment to prioritize God and put him first, whether it's in the things I'm thinking about or the things that I say to other people that I love and care about or um, the choices that I make every day. Worship is about bringing God into those moments and putting him first, no matter what the circumstance. And that has to do with who he is and what he did for me. And I just can't help but worship in that place.